father was actually diagnosed with esophageal cancer back in 2012. It's a really, really aggressive form of cancer. I mean, start to finish from diagnosis to end, it was 15 months in total, so just over a year. Stomach cancer is the number two cancer killer in the world behind lung cancer. Most patients who are diagnosed with stomach and esophageal cancer die of their disease. The De Gregorio Foundation has made tremendous impact on our ability to better understand uh, stomach cancer. And it's groups like this that allow us to fund research from promising scientists from around the country that have ideas that really need to be explored. The facts to me today are the diagnoses are too late and the prognoses are too dismal. In order to turn fact into fiction, it's going to take a lot of research dollars. It's gonna take collaboration and education. I started the foundation in 2006 after my sister passed away in 2004. My dad had died 30 years prior. They were both diagnosed in late stages and had no chance of survival. There was really not much in the way of funding for research for either gastric or esophageal cancer. Both the De Gregorio Foundation as well as the NIH, the federal government, is trying to stimulate and improve collaboration amongst researchers. And I think that's critical to to moving the field forward. Our biggest accomplishments are the amount of money that we've raised and the amount of grants that we've funded. Our two and a half million dollars that we've raised has also instigated close to three million dollars of additional funding. We received a uh, two-year uh, grant from the Deacon Warrior Family Foundation for total of $225,000. Long-term goal of which is to develop new methods for surveillance and detection, early detection of soft gel cancer. Early detection is the key. If you can catch it earlier, you have a better chance of treating it and curing it. In the last 10 years since I've been treating stomach cancer and operating on patients with stomach cancer at Sloan Kettering, I've seen an increased number of patients who see me with earlier stage stomach cancer. I think that's due to improved awareness through foundations like the De Gregorio Foundation. It really just comes down to many people joining hands and doing their part as far as, you know, telling their neighbors, friends, family about warning signs and, you know, raising funds to help with this illness. It's increasingly important that there are other sources of money out there for the researchers doing this work. It's an incredible time to be part of the cancer community and be part of the Degrego Foundation. And we've seen progress with regard to drug treatments, with regard to diagnosis, with regard to how the cancer develops. I think if people felt how it felt and still feels to be in my shoes at that moment, everyone would want to get involved in advocacy. That's what fuels my fire every day. The memory of my father, what could have been. With your support, we can turn fact into fiction. With more research, we can turn fact into fiction. With your help, we can turn fact into fiction.